A trip to the Bonneville Salt Flats is something that every gearhead should have on their bucket list. Watch to the end and I'll tell you why and share some tips on things I wish I knew on my first trip to Bonneville. Welcome to Wendover, Nevada and Wendover, Utah. The Bonneville Salt Flats are just up there on the horizon, just a few minutes outside the town limits. And yep, you've guessed it, the town of Wendover straddles two states, half of it being in Nevada and the other half in Utah. There are a number of nice, inexpensive hotels on the Utah side and a great Mexican restaurant called the Salt Flats Cafe. I would recommend it. We've eaten there. But if the Utah side is too subdued, you can venture over to the Nevada side and stay at some of the hotel and casinos there, like the Montego Bay, the Pepper Mill, the Rainbow, and the Nugget Hotel. There's also a Pepper Mill Concert Hall. Check their website and you may be able to find a great concert while you're in town. Wendover and the Bonneville Salt Flats are about an hour and 40 minutes outside of Salt Lake City and about six hours from Las Vegas, Nevada. If you are flying into Salt Lake City and renting a car, I would check with your rental car agent and see their policy on driving on the salt or not. But either way, if you're driving your car, or a rental car, it's a good idea to find a pressure washer after you're off the salt and heading home to uh, be sure you get all the salt off of the undercarriage of your car because as we know, salt does corrode. If you're driving up from Las Vegas or from Arizona like we are, you can take a little detour and cross something else off your bucket lifts and visit the extraterrestrial highway and area 51 and also the Ailey Inn bar and motel. You can even stay there if you're brave enough. Once you leave Wendover, follow the signs to the Bonneville Salt Flats and you'll pay an entry fee usually between 20 and 25 dollars. Uh, depending on the event, you can also buy the weekend passes that are a better value if you're going to be attending more than one day for the Salt Flats. Now there are usually at least two courses. A long course for cars that go over 150 miles an hour and then a short course for the cars that are under 150 miles an hour. You can hang out in the pits, look at the cars, and even speak to the drivers. Or you can hang out on the starting line and let the cars and the drivers come to you. What we did was brought a pop-up canopy, a couple of beach chairs, an ice chest, and some snacks, and spent the day. You're also going to need a good pair of sunglasses, a hat, plenty of sunscreen, Maybe wear a long sleeve shirt, long pants. Um, the salt does reflect the sun and you can get easily sunburnt, uh, but also bring a good pair of binoculars.
three major events held each year in the fall, weather permitting, meaning if the salt dries out, depending on how much rain we had during the winter and during the summer, but with Mother Nature cooperating, the three major events are first speed week that happens in the first half of August held by the Southern California Timing Association. The second is the World of Speed held in the first half of September by the Utah Salt Flats Racing Association. And then the third also held by the Southern California Timing Association and that is the World Finals held at the end of September. I will leave the links to the sanctioning bodies websites so you can check them out for the exact dates and other pertinent information. You'll see each car has a string of letters and numbers on it. You can download the list of classes and see what category this car or motorcycle or even bar stool. Yes, there's a class for motorized bar stools. What class this that vehicle is running in so you can have an idea of uh, what record they're trying to break and trying to set. It's a 38 page list. The list is very extensive. Everything from vintage uh, cars and motorcycles all the way up to the double A streamliners. This car sounds a little different because it is a three-cylinder, two-stroke Saab setting a land speed record of 127.66 miles an hour back in 2018. You can also bring your personal car, if you would like, to uh, drive on the short course and see how fast you can go in your personal car. Just be sure to check the Sanctioning Bodies website for the safety regulations that you must meet before you can take your personal car out on the short course. This is the wife of the driver of the Streamliner, number 635. She's pacing back and forth as she's getting ready to take off. Fortunately, it was a nice, safe run, but I kind of felt for her the anxiousness she was having watching her husband uh, try to set another land speed record. Okay, so that was some teasers of all the great cars that you'll get to see out on the salt flats. What else is there to do? Well, Saturday night they usually have a car show. Check the casino's website. Uh, the last time we went to the car show, it was held at the Nugget Hotel and Casino on the Nevada side. Before you leave Wendover and the salt flats, take a visit to the Wendover Airport and Air Force Base. This Air Force Base was the training grounds for the B-29 bomber, the Enola Gay that dropped the bomb on Japan during World War II. It has a fabulous museum. A lot of it is untouched and unrestored. 
it truly is a step back in time. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Worth a visit. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I'd like to ask if you could please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. And I will see you on the next video.